Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Today we have the AT&T Galaxy S3 and we're updating the stock kernel to the over newest uh, over there update one and the uh, baseband. Basically this device is off the over there update path because it has a custom ROM on it. You can see the current signal levels. We're not sure if it's going to improve any but the baseband version is UCLEM. We're going to update it to UCALG1. There are a few things that were updated in this over there update. I'm rebooting into recovery right now. This custom ROM allows me to do that. If not, you can just power it down, hold volume up, the home button, and then power and boot it like that. The links to these files will be in the description. We're not updating the bootloader. I'm going to install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card. I put it in a folder called Z updates so it would be at the bottom. So what you're going to do is just flash these two files. You can see that I tried to do the bootloader, but it won't let you do that. I believe this is because it's not on a stock setup. I'm going to research that uh, a little bit more and see what we can do about the bootloader or if it's going to affect us uh, in the future. So after you apply these two updates, just reboot your device. And you can go back into the settings. And see if the updates have applied themselves. You can see the baseband version has changed and the kernel version probably has changed as well. So for more information about this, please visit the XDA developers thread that I've listed below in the description. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much.